Hold on, thumbnail, there you go. Kachik! What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. I am wearing a hat today because I literally just got back shooting cinematic and b-roll for this video. Shout out to the boy. Sanjeev. I'm wearing a hat because my hair is in like a shit stage. It's been that for a while, but Come on mate, but today we are doing a free fits one shoe last time I showed the Vans old school today We're gonna do it on the Converse X off-white. I know what I said guys I know what I said in my video about Converse and off-white and how it's my least favorite I'll even I'll even show you guys what I said. So roll the clip Basically, I just think it looks too big, it looks too long and too thin. It looks too futuristic for a classic shoe. Mm, really not a fan of that shoe, to be honest, but, you know. Oh well, Magnus going back at something you said. Big surprise, big surprise. I think I can talk to a lot of people and say that when they first came out, when the pictures released first, a lot of people really didn't like them, including myself, obviously. But as I saw them come out and saw on feed shots and whatnot, I kind of realized that they're actually not that bad. bad. They're actually not that bad and they're really, really cool. They are cool guys, so don't fucking castrate me or hang me on the cross, okay? I like them, I like them. Let's go through this unboxing. I need to be a bit careful because uh, I don't want to undead stock the shoe. I don't want to scuff them up or anything. There we go, boys and girls. That's what you get. You get two pairs of shoes, three pairs of laces, white laces with green tips, simple regular white laces with no tips, black laces with orange tips. I'm probably gonna stick to the tips, to the tips. I'm probably gonna stick to the laces that are currently in these bad boys. They're different kind of weave, more like polyester or nylon laces. Obviously, you've got the off-white tag. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the tag on or not. I feel like it's a good addition in some fits, having a tiny bit of red in them, gives a bit more contrast, whatnot. They also make the shoes look a bit more wide because the material is different. They look a lot thinner than the usual Converse. Obviously, there are good things and bad things about these shoes. If we start off with good things, overall, it looks really, really cool. I like the translucent sole. I like the detailing on the inside. I like that you can still see the Converse, but it's like a pimped out Converse. It's like an astral Converse. It's like an artistic Converse. So yeah, overall, I think shoe is really cool. I think it's a really nice shoe. Pretty wearable, I would say. However, moving into the bad things. First of all, I think they sent me a... I got a factory defect shoe because on the right shoes it says left and on the left shoes it says right. So I think I've got a pair of either sample shoes maybe or they might be fake. Um, yeah, I think I've got a factory defect pair of shoes, unfortunately. But it's okay. I'm not I'm not too sad about that. Next is that because it's a very, very light and thin material, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of support. It kind of feels like your feet are not that well supported essentially and in addition to that it also seems pretty thin so in contrast to usual converse where you'd have a cotton material this is a lot more thin essentially but overall i like the shoes a lot i'll probably give them a seven seven and a half eight out of ten they're not my favorite shoes but yeah super sick but let's go into the free fits so for the first outfit for the first outfit, if we start with trousers. Trousers are this pair of Dries Van Notten trousers in navy. They are super wide and pretty long, so I've got given them a double cuff. I like these trousers a lot with the Converse because they sit very nicely on top. They are very wide compared to the very thin Converse, but surprisingly, I think it works. I think it works really well, to be honest. I wasn't too sure in the beginning, but after having them tried on, blah, 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 they kind of grew on me. With that, I've got my February oversized Macintosh or Gabardine coat. Super, super long, super oversized with tartan detailing on the inside. As I said, it's very, very big. It's very oversized. What I like about this outfit is that you've got those hints of red. So on the tag, on the sleeves, on the inside. Then you've got the very flowy nature of the overcoat together with the navy, very flowy trousers. And then finish off with, it's like a Burberry sling bag, just to match transparent stuff with the transparent stuff. You dig. You dig. That's it. I mean, I may look like some guy who invites kids into their white van with candy. Or maybe I look like Inspector Morse or Inspector Gadget. I don't know, mate. I think it's a clean look. It's a very clean look. You can even see it in action right here. Sick fit pick. Go ahead, mate. Go like it, please. I'm actually begging you to go like it. I'm begging you for likes.
For this next fact, ah! for this next outfit, I went ahead with the Supreme. Supreme. Fuck me, mate. Fuck. I went ahead with the DIY patches jacket I made in the last video. Admittedly, it's probably not my favorite outfit. I could probably do a better outfit with this jacket, but I really like it and I like the detailings on the shoes, the riding and attack with the badges and everything. So I wanted to use the jacket essentially. I wanted to shirt off. I didn't feel like I shirt off properly in the last video. So here we go again, boys. That's on top. And then bottom, we've got my running hand painted trousers. A lot of you guys really want these trousers, I think at least. They sold out very, very quickly. And I'm currently thinking about making more when the restock comes. However, I haven't really decided yet. The reason why I wore these trousers was to match the reds on the reds and the colors to the other colors. And then in general, navy goes really well with beige. Color wise, it all goes really well together. But at the same time, you've got a very loud jacket with some pretty loud trousers and then some pretty loud shoes, essentially. Let me know down in the comments. Actually, actually. Let me know up here what you think of the outfit. If you like it or you dislike it. I'm interested or intrigued to see what you guys think because some parts I'm pretty happy about it and some parts I feel like I may have gone a bit overboard. Scouts boys, we out here. I should just stop selling clothes and just start selling Girl Scout cookies. That'd be pretty sick. And for the last outfit. Last outfit, I just decided to keep it very casual. I didn't really want to go overboard and I just wanted to use block colors and then use accessories to spice it up a bit. Let's start with the bottom. Bottom, we've got these Calvin Klein jeans. I don't necessarily remember where I got them from. They used to be regular jeans. Cut them off the bottom. Now they're cropped essentially. It's a very nice and even kind of stone wash. No, nothing. It's all just very simple and one color. Now I love jean color to get with red. I went ahead and went for the running red sweatshirt, crimson red red sweatshirt. It's obviously matches with the red tag, some outline on Converse logo, and it's just a good... Oh, that was disgusting. Do you know when you... Do you know when you burp and then... It's a bit more than a burp and you're just about to puke in your mouth. That's what just happens. That's the effect of running sweatshirts. They make you fucking puke. Okay, let's stay on track here, mate. Stay on track. Almost done recording. Let's get it. Let's get it. Moving on, I added a very simple leather bum bag or like waist pouch. Him bag. Up the hip bit. Today, Junior? Bum bag, you know me. Yeah. This is the one I always use. I will leave a link in the description to the Amazon link. I believe these are like five pounds. This just works. Come festival, fire, so good. Very, very casual, very simple, very cheap. And then obviously the Kango, Kango bucket hat. The main idea of this outfit was just to keep it very simple, focus a lot on block colors. Just have something that's very, very wearable and wearable every day. The use of the black accessories kind of breaks the outfit up a lot more. I like using black a lot more accessories than in actual clothes, adding black to this outfit made the whole thing kind of broke up the colors added some extra outlines or contrasts i just said the same thing three times in a row black is sick for accessories okay that's it <laughs> oh, 
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Free Fits One Shoe with the Converse X Off White. Overall, I think it's a really clean shoe. However, I don't think you, how can I put this nicely? I don't necessarily think that these shoes work better than any pair of Converse. I could have had all the same fits and have them all look really good, really clean by having either a pair of black high tops, a white high tops, or a pair of cream high tops. So I wouldn't necessarily go out of your way to spend 400, 500 pounds on these shoes because I don't think they're worth that much. Yeah, I wouldn't pay resale for these. I'd definitely just go for a more simple Converse high top unless you have the money to splash, obviously. But overall, it's a really good shoe. It's definitely a lot better in hand and on feet than it is on pictures. So that's something to keep in mind. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll cinematics. Massive shout out to the boy Sanjeev. See you there. Peace.